If you've been watching the skies as closely as I have lately, then you'll notice that space has been getting a little bit busier. Two. One. The recent launch from Elon Musk's SpaceX caps off a two-month window in which Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic Woo! and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin so good. have all sent civilians into space. To give more people the chance to become astronauts. All three of these companies have different goals and different ways of launching. Fire. Fire. And they all go to different parts of space for different reasons. You see the Earth from space it changes your relationship with this planet. But all three have one thing in common. They'll take you into space for a price. Our first paying customer. Feel like you got your money's worth, sir? <laughs> for sure, for sure. How much? Well, somewhere between around half a million and $55 million. Now, unfortunately, I do not have that kind of money. But let's assume you do, and you want to know what kind of experience these companies are offering and how they differ. Well, my millionaire friend, allow me to be your space travel agent. I'm gonna break down exactly what these companies are doing. Grab your space suit, let's go. First off, I want to dive into these companies' business models. They've all invested enormous amounts. This is uh, our engineering test article of our Dragon spacecraft. And all had setbacks over the years, some of which have been fatal. But they have different reasons for wanting to go into space. Virgin says it's primarily focused on pioneering human spaceflight for private individuals and researchers. While it is conducting some research and training trips, its main offering is what it calls a transformative experience, where paying customers are flown into suborbital space. It says that it aims to one day fly some 400 trips a year. We're here to make space more accessible to all. Bezos' Blue Origin is also offering a space tourism experience. But Bezos says he has plans to go much deeper into space, and talks of a future where we might even live there. We're going to build a road to space, and then amazing things will happen. To build towards that future, Blue Origin is constructing bigger rockets that can carry larger payloads into space. And he has plans to send reusable landers to the moon. It's time to go back to the moon, this time to stay. If he gets up there, he may find he has some company. You see, Elon Musk too has spoken of ambitions to colonize other planets. And his company, SpaceX, has won a $2.9 billion contract to build a moon lander for NASA. Blue Origin also tried to win part of that work, and is now suing NASA, saying that the agency's decision around the lander was improper. And while SpaceX's website may be somewhat more discreet about it than others, the company is still willing to take paying customers into space if the price is right. What's that? You don't care about colonizing the moon and you just want to know what kind of experience your millions will get you. Okay, let's go. With Virgin Galactic, you'll board a six passenger spacecraft that's hanging from a plane. You'll be flown up to 45,000 feet, which is around nine miles high, dropped and then rocketed up to an altitude of around 50 miles up, which is one definition of where space begins. You'll experience around three minutes of weightlessness before the pilots glide you back down to earth. It's this last part that recently got Virgin in trouble with the FAA after Virgin said their craft shifted out of its planned trajectory during descent. Seats cost upwards of $450,000 and the flight lasts around 90 minutes in total. With Blue Origin, you're strapped into an automated capsule atop a rocket which will fire you directly up into space. The entire ride is much quicker, taking you up there and back in around 12 minutes, but you'll still experience three minutes of weightlessness. We don't know how much tickets will cost yet, but at an auction to be on the first flight, someone bid 28 million in the front, and he looks very excited about it. While the flight may be shorter, Blue Origin will take you higher than Virgin to the Kármán line, a more internationally recognized edge of space that sits at 62 miles up. Now, where Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin are offering more of a packaged experience, SpaceX seems to be going for more of a custom expedition approach. <laughs> While there aren't any particular details on the kinds of trips that they offer, they are still sending paying customers into space. And I mean much further into space. In September, they became the first to launch a craft carrying four civilians and no government astronauts into space. One of the astronauts paid an undisclosed sum for himself and three others to be there. 
and they were launched into an orbit higher than the International Space Station for three whole days using their automated craft. We're cruising right now at 580 kilometers above the Earth, going about 7.6 kilometers per second. SpaceX has also sold four commercial flights to the International Space Station to a space company called Axiom, who have sold tickets for $55 million. Now, my colleague Micah Maidenberg has actually been following SpaceX closely, and he spoke to one of the people that were on that September launch. I asked Jared Isaacman, you know, who, who purchased this trip, you know, from SpaceX, and I said, Jared, you know, how do you think about this? Is this a, a tourism flight? And he, he said, no, it's not. You know, this is, this is a mission. It has a, a bigger goal. It's about getting us deeper into, into space and sort of onto the moon and Mars and so forth. They are going to be doing research tasks on board. They're going to be doing projects related to their own bodies. But I think, you know, other folks would, would sort of look at the, the simple nature of the transaction and the trip itself and say, yes, this, this in, in, a, in some sense is a tourism flight. I guess it's sort of like this, like tourism is a state of mind in a way. Now, a SpaceX executive recently said that the company has a backlog of commercial astronaut missions. So whether SpaceX says it's a space tourism company or not, it will still be a rival to Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin's business plans. After all, one of the things that's keeping those ticket prices high is the exclusivity of the trip. So the more companies that begin operating in that space, the less value those tickets have. Hey, Mike has written some really great pieces on the billionaire space race, so if you want to read more of his coverage, I've left the link below. And whether you're a millionaire or not, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.